Yeah, hey guys, Paul Davids does this really cool uh, collab where he gets a whole bunch of guitarists to play over the same backing track. And I thought it would be a really cool challenge to come up with something over it. And it was a heck of a lot of fun. Man, I really enjoyed it. So what I was using on the track is I'm using this McPherson uh, Telecaster into a Omni compressor and then into Neural DSP Corey Wong uh, preset. At the end of this, I'm just going to sort of run through what I did in that solo, just conceptually sort of a quick overview, mostly so I don't forget what I actually did. So anyway, I hope you enjoy this, guys. If you like it, leave a, uh, a something down in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be great. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, so I hope you guys like that. Let's go through the solo. So what I was doing at the start was a pretty typical blues thing. I was in, I was thinking A minor pentatonic for this first thing. And it's kind of like a Steve Ray Vaughan rake thing. Onto that A. Anyway, so I just did this little arpeggio, but ending on that G sharp. So it kind of accentuated that G sharp. The next chord in the progression is an A minor slash G. So really it's a, a minor 7 with the 7th in the bass. So I thought if I bend into it, and then when it goes to the D slash F sharp, which is really just a D with a 3rd in the bass, I'd come down to that, that F sharp there. Um, really this intro, if you look at it, it's actually the same as Stairway to Heaven. So you've got... I'm not going to pick it because I'll probably get like a flagged or something. But then it changes there. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was really cool, kind of a repurposing of that song. This was more a vocal line that I was singing when I came over there. Bending into that F, because we're on... And I was tapping the, the harmonic there, so I've got... I thought that really sounded cool. This next bit, I was actually just coming down like a, a C major scale. Into the third of that E7, which is that last chord, just before it sort of turns around again. And this next bit was really, an, I was thinking an E7... I was just thinking an E, I was just really just jamming over an, an E dominant seven, like a PGO. And then back to the start of again, back to that A. So that was the third of the E, kind of led really nice into the A, sort of that's that kind of pull you feel between those two chords, that E seven trying to get back into that A. Then, oh, oh no, sorry, the next bit just goes. So that was just bent, that was just sort of A minor, thinking A minor, bending into that third. And then this next bit was more just like a vocal melody that I could hear. But landing on that F sharp, because we're at that chord at that time. It's really weird to describe how you played something um, when I work all this stuff out at the start, because this was a composed solo, it's something I kind of came, came up with. But then when you have to sort of break it down again after I like I practiced it quite a bit to get to the to get to the point I could play it pretty smoothly. 
And then this next little chunk here, a little decor there. Repeated that same pattern. Then sort of bent into the third, minor third of that F, because we're on an on a F minor there. And then this next bit is just a C major. Kind of a C major 7 arpeggio. Down, landing, ending on the third. Um, this next little transition was um, over the e, e dominant chord and I wanted to add like a chromatic passing tone in so I kind of came up with this line. To end on that A there, I wanted to, that was my target note. Sorry about the light, it's kind of a weird, it's morning here so it's burning. I was trying to get that bit, bit squarer than that. Cool. And now we're back on A again. So we've got, and then we've got G. Now that was a fully, a fully vocalized sung line. So I just sung that and worked it out, but I was obviously using the framework of kind of thinking A minor. And same with this next one. So you've got, so we do and then when I slide up, That was, that's probably the favorite, my favorite part of the solo because it was a vocalized line that I was trying to get articulated right. And it's like not that hard to play, just using little um, one fret slides into my target notes. The next little piece, well, I was thinking straight up like an A minor pentatonic thing, but the, the concept I wanted to, to use for this section, man, that sun is insane. The concept I wanted to use for this section was um, I wanted to get an outside feel but using time, not using note choice to get that sort of outside feel. So, so I don't even know how I kind of timed it. I just you just sort of wing it. It's like one of those ones where you're just sort of floating around over top. Like, every time I play that that part, I've kind of got a basic plan, but it's different every time. All bass around A minor pentatonic, but yeah, trying to create an uncomfortable outside um, like vibe, but using like time to do that instead of note choice, which is a kind of a concept I thought of a while ago. I'm sure like a loads of different players do it, but I thought it was really interesting creating like an, that sort of um, sort of uncomfortable feeling, but through time, not through like notes that are non-diatonic, that sort of thing. Um, and then the next bit is a sequence, like a sort of a Tom Quayle inspired sequence. I really like Tom Quayle stuff. So we've got F chord, G chord, A. I think my guitar's a little bit out of tune. Um, so I'm thinking F, but I'm also thinking about the, the A minor key that, that I'm in. So. Now I'm thinking G. So that's the fifth of G. And then ending on the third of A there. That sort of sound. Now the last bit was something I just sung, but it's obviously starting on the A. And I'm just looking at, I'm just really just following the, the scale around, but, you, but I, I sang this out first. So I've got, oh, sorry. And then to the G sharp, because back to the original chords again. Now I'm down to the, the G, sorry, the, the um, dominant seven. And then this bit I'm thinking F and F minor. Now that note was a sung note when I was playing. I just wanted to get that sort of sound. And then to, then I'm just playing a C at the end. So that's pretty much it. Once again, sorry about the crazy lighting. Um, there's not much I can do today. I'm kind of just, I'm stuck in the workshop and it's morning so the sun's like streaming. I mean, it's awesome. I, I do love having a nice sunny workshop to work in every day. But yeah, when you're filming, sometimes you just want the clouds to come over just to give you some easier light to work with. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much how it rolls. So I hope that kind of helps. I mean, it was a bit of a quick run through and like I said, it's really so I can remember what I did because often you write a solo and you look back in a couple of years time and you go, wow, that's really cool 
have to sort of almost try and transcribe yourself again. See if there's any concepts in there that'll work for you or if there's anything that you found really cool and if you have any comments or anything you'd like to add please put it in down in the comments obviously um, and please subscribe because we're just a small channel but I really would like to grow this channel I'd really like to get um, my messages and, and ideas and just different concepts and things out to more people I think it would be really cool because I have a great day job I work here I get to fix guitars and modify things and do what I really love doing every day. So this is this outlet for me is just fun. I taught for many, many years and I really enjoyed aspects of that. And I really love just being able to um, put these videos out and hopefully help someone out there. So yeah, please subscribe. That'd be great. Anyway, catch you on the next one, guys. I've got some really freaking weird stuff coming up. Interesting things. I'm building a guitar with a pickup installed in a weird place. Um, it's going to have a real specific uh, video link to that and yeah a whole bunch of other things few acoustic demos coming up pickup demos things like that so anyway catch you guys on the next one have a great week and we'll see you next time <laughs>